Uh, they are coming out with a perovskite uh, chemical composition which uh, should enhance the efficiency again so they might be in the uh, 10% range of efficiency now with a with a normal OPV uh, chemicals I guess they are in the two to five two to five uh, percent range of efficiency but that's also not too bad I guess for special applications where you can't use these very um, high weight solar cells that's that's pretty good and we have a lot of space so <laughs> why not use the space and um, just it must be cheap that's that's the main factor yeah you know because nobody is yet using it because uh, solar power was expensive but now with these OPV uh, film roll cells it's it's getting really cheap now if this go into mass production I guess a normal silicium based solar cell will be really pushed out of the market soon so OPV I guess is the future also with then with a perovskite uh, composition chemical composition it will be very interesting so guys test these out uh, seems to be a great technology and yeah um, what else I wanted to speak about yeah this was this and yeah I have um, seen a chemical battery cell which I am interested in which generated 2.67 volts from a composition of aluminium foil and graphite and also using manganese dioxide um, this is also interesting it has on the one side a sponge uh, soaked into sodium hydroxide NaOH and um, this sponge is touching another sponge where it's soaked into um, uh, sulfuric acid and uh, on top of this other sponge is a um, plate or what was it not a plate um, no it was on the other sponge uh, there was uh, on the sponge was laid manganese dioxide and um, mixed with graphite powder and on top of that as a collector electrode was a graphite plate put on top and this was all soaked in sulfuric acid and when these two sponges touched in the middle then they got a, um, a voltage of 2.67 volts that's 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 the highest uh, voltage I have seen uh, for uh, for a graphite aluminium mix okay they still use this manganese dioxide um, as an uh, oxidant um, for in this reaction but would be interesting if we, if we could uh, modify that a bit that we might get a rechargeable cell out of this we are higher than 2.5 volts it's really interesting to just drive white LEDs there are white LEDs I guess which which start uh, lighting up at 2.4 volts so that would be interesting just for um, using white LEDs without any um, dual sieve circuits or something like this yeah so uh, then yeah then all these night lights for the garden would would not need uh, any so much electronics inside there yeah then you just would need a solar cell and uh, maybe simple 
light sensitive relay switch or something like this to just charge up such a cell and have a charge to then to 2.6 volts all the time and in the night it would light just the white LED then. Anyway, that's that's interesting. Um, yeah, I guess this is it for now. Yeah, I will see. The most interesting part will now be to see the 15 kilowatts outcome at the rush facility. How they will <laughs> do the faking then. Maybe hidden cables again. Well, anyway, I hope you liked this. Give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you haven't yet done so. To don't miss the next video in this part. And um, yeah just uh, go to the forums or share your ah i forgot one thing uh just watch today um the new video from laser saber hello to laser saber you are really a very good experimentator and it's very great that you share so openly all your stuff and um looking forward to see all your new videos he has done a uh, um, build up video how to build up the soul in one um, soul in one um, solar system it's an also a flexible silicium based solar panel 25 watts i guess was it um, he has a special frame built from pipes uh, white um, household uh, pipes, um, plastic pipes, where he puts in uh, what is it, lithium life pole batteries, I guess. Yeah, life pole, uh, lithium iron phosphate batteries, um, accumulator batteries which are very uh, good and uh, which are also not flammable so they are much safer than lithium iron or these other lithium uh, lithium stuff batteries so um, he has an inverter in it so battery recharge controller and um, yeah, a solar controller in it and an inverter. So this inverter can do about 350 watts, I guess. And he uses it to drive all his tools in his workshops and uh, yeah, cook a coffee or something like this <laughs> in a coffee machine. Very interesting. Uh, yeah, and um, I guess um, if it's... He posted today the video how to to do it all, put it all together. Very interesting. But I guess uh, he also sell it's complete built up. So very interesting thing. Uh, the only thing we over here in Germany we still use um, 50 hertz and 230 volts. So uh, I don't know if he already has an inverter for for this kind of specialty specification i have to look that up anyway that was it now from me and um, yeah please give a thumbs up subscribe comment share on facebook and uh, we'll see you next time okay bye bye for now